hello everyone welcome to dark astro science and today this video is all about the transit of sun into the sign of aquarius the most important part here is that sun is going to get conjunct with jupiter in aquarius looking into the fact that previously when sun was in capricorn it was along with retrograde mercury saturn in the house of saturn so so many things was going on from last one month when sun was in the sign of capricorn along with saturn now mercury is also direct and sun has changed sign it has got conjunct with jupiter in aquarius and i will say it's a very welcome transit very auspicious transit for every one of us in whichever house this transit of sun and jupiter is happening in the sign of aquarius now if you can go through your horoscope in whichever house the sign aquarius falls the result regarding that house will be very good will be very fruitful it will also depend upon which houses jupiter and sun rules over lords over the most important part here is that when sun will transit through the sign of aquarius which it is already transiting it has entered aquarius yesterday just opposite to aquarius is the sign of leo it will directly aspect the sign of leo due to this conjunction of sun and jupiter we can expect few good things which is that it is good for wealth health prosperity anything which is auspicious creativity intelligence the most important part here is that this conjunction of sun and jupiter which we also known as which we call raj lakshan yoga which is itself is a very good yoga it gives us high authority it gives us wisdom intelligence and everything which is good our luck will support us because of the virtue of this transit anything which is very fortunate that can be expected now since it is happening in the sign of aquarius so new ideas futuristic ideas suppose if you are working on a particular project and you are trying to think that which type of innovations can you can apply or you can build upon that this is a very good time i will say when you can achieve it not only for yourself but for every one of us for the society for the humanity this wisdom is for every one of us this is not a self made wisdom it is basically for the society so if we talk about ego which relates to sun then this is not actually ego this is actually something much more broader than that you can use your intelligence you can use your wisdom to make something to create something which if used for the society will give you much more happiness it is more about self satisfaction that is what i will say during this transit now it will definitely vary from people to people person to person depending upon their horoscope because it can be transiting in any house according to your horoscope it can be transiting over any natal planet due to the transit it can aspect any of the natal planets in your chart your dasha pattern may be different like suppose someone is going through the dasha of saturn jupiter or sun will have more impact of this transit it will depend upon the ashtakbarga scores which you are having in the sign of aquarius or in the sign of leo because it will aspect leo so these are the parameters now these are few parameters now depending upon the whole study of vedic astrology which is vast these are the few of the parameters which you can definitely go through and as usual if you are new to this channel then I request you to subscribe to the channel tap on to the notification bell icon so that every time I make a new video you get notified instantly and any time if you want a consultation from me check the links in the description section you can join me on my facebook and instagram account you can directly mail me through the email id which you will get in the description section itself so now we can talk about all the 12 ascendant signs 
that how this transit is going to give results rather i will say good results for the aries ascendant people this transit is happening in the 11th house 11th house of gains multiple incomes the most important part here is that fifth lord sun ninth and 12th lord jupiter is transiting over your 11th house so multiple gains it will increase your creativity your intelligence and the most important part here is that it will open your door for different ways of incoming of wealth by your creativity by your luck and fortune you will have a dominating and authoritative status among your network circle or it may also happen that you may get a friend circle which consist of many good philosophers uh, the people who like philosophy or philosophers or it may happen that they are very wise since jupiter is also your 12th lord so chances are there that due to this transit of sun and jupiter it is also making a very spiritual yoga so you can also get some chance to learn about spirituality although 11th house is not the house of spirituality but the combinations are like that another thing is that if you are thinking about gains then some gains from far away places from foreign clients can be expected during this time good for your children good for your progeny good for your intelligence and creativity for the taurus ascendant people this transit is happening in your 10th house and trust me this is one of the best transit you will see in this year one of the because this will not only give you improvement in terms of your career and profession but also any work or any project which you are working upon in your career you will find a complete focus concentration overall success can be seen during this transit your rapo with your superiors and authorities your connection your connectivity will improve it may also happen that you may get help from anyone who is superior to you it may also happen that someone who is superior can act like a philosopher a guide in your work so good days are seen due to this and yes since sun is your fourth lord transiting through the 10th house so it may happen that your responsibility towards your home and your career both can be going on at the same pace so you have to strike the balance at the correct time use the wisdom of jupiter during this time you have to think that how much time you are spending at work and how much you are spending for your home happiness your peace of mind your rest don't forget that your physical rest is also necessary only all work and no play is not a good idea always correct so this thing you have to take care yes sun is transiting through the 10th house so it is definitely good for your vitality because it is getting the directional strength so all work which you do during this time if it is in the path of dharma is definitely going to give you very good results okay if we talk about the gemini ascendant people then this transit is happening in the 9th house of dharma so it's a wonderful transit i will say anything which is related to spirituality religious activities customs and rituals or higher learning it can be higher learning regarding any educational purpose or anything which is associated with higher spiritual knowledge can be gained can be learned during this time or it may happen that you may start learning which can give you very good results in the future or you may like to learn it you can have good connections with some spiritual communities people of various religious and spiritual communities you may meet them you can get a uh, very good uh, philosophers 
people who are very good guide or it's a very good time to get attached or get some knowledge from your guru blessings of your guru so if you follow proper discipline proper ethics and morality during this time you can not only get blessings from your father from your guru from your elders but also it will improve your luck and fortune very good time for the luck and prosperity travels can be seen during this time now it can be long travels also it can be short travels also because sun is your third lord transiting through the ninth house so travels of any genre can happen most probably the travels can be most of can be of religious purpose you can go for any kind of religious pursuits it will give you much more better results for the cancer ascendant people sun and jupiter will be transiting in the 8th house now jupiter is your 9th lord transiting through the 8th house 12th from itself so at times you may feel that your luck is not supporting you but your second lord sun now sun is also your second lord but it is friendly to moon for the cancer ascendant people it's transiting along with jupiter in the 8th house so it is actually creating a very spiritual connection if you are associated with anything related to spirituality religious activities occult or if you are thinking that i need more concentration in my studies or any kind of studies which requires more focus concentration or solitude this is a very good time like if you are thinking that i may go through for any kind of spiritual activities or anything related to spirituality meditation um it can be anything which can lead to betterment of your health or suppose any kind of healthy activities this is a very good time now since it is 8th house and sun is our vitality sun is our soul so here one thing i will say you the transit of the significator of soul that is sun in the 8th house is normally considered not so good but since it is transiting along with jupiter so something good can be expected which can be related to spirituality so if you follow that path it will give you much more better results now since sun and jupiter transiting through the 8th house so some good things related to inheritance sudden gain of money gain of wealth because sun is your second lord transiting through the 8th house along with 9th lord so it is creating a dhan yoga also so sudden chance of getting some wealth unexpected wealth unearned wealth can be seen during this time <coughs> any dispute regarding your inheritance regarding any property dispute or anything like that you can expect that yes some gains through that can be expected during this transit yes work upon your karma because since sun is transiting through the 8th house your karma has to be looked upon don't do anything which is not un which is not ethical i will say don't follow the unethical path that will help you rise do something which is good do something which is associated with dharma okay follow your morality sun is your second lord the lord of your values so follow the proper moral path that will give you much much better results because don't forget this sun will also come in your ninth house after one month so whatever work you do now you get the good results after one month don't forget that for the leo ascendant people sun will be transiting in the seventh house so you will have more focus towards your relationships towards your marriage now since it is transiting along with jupiter and most important part here is that for the leo ascendant people jupiter is your fifth and eighth lord so since sun is your first lord conjunct with eighth and fifth lord in the seventh house so yes some chances of some romantic relationships can be seen during this time 
means chances are there some good chances are there and yes if you are already in a relationship it can be any kind of partnership or relationship in a married life also you will take some active participation some active decisions regarding your married life marital issues can be seen during this time due to this transit of sun in the 7th house yes you have to have a proper check on your ego because normally when sun transits through the 7th house so this kind of ego battles are very normal although it is transiting along with jupiter so some good results can be expected i will say that give the proper respect to the opinions of your partner that will give you really a very good result i will say yes um since sun is the king sun doesn't likes to negotiate the king doesn't like to negotiate sometimes it may happens that the king will hesitate to take cooperation from even from the partner correct so i will say that it's a better it's better to cooperate your partner and if necessary ask for the cooperation from your partner trust me this will improve the relationship between you and your partner because the insecurities will turn into securities your partner will have more trust in you trust me don't hesitate to take or give cooperations during this time for the virgo ascendant people this transit of sun and jupiter will be happening in the 6th house now this transit will be a good one i will say because the transit of sun through the 6th house normally gives a very good independent structure to a person that person may feel that i will have good energy good focus concentration towards my daily life schedule my routines my hard work or whatever job whatever work we do since it is transiting with jupiter i will say jupiter is your fourth and seventh lord transiting in the sixth house along with sun so some matter related to your home your married life may erupt during this time or you may feel that i can take a independent independent um, lifestyle away from all these problems or it can happen in this way also that one side of the coin is that you can take a active participation to solve any matter related to your home happiness your married life if suppose any problems are there then you will take some active decisions some straight forward decisions to solve those problems this can be expected otherwise i will say suppose if you are associated with any service job or suppose if you are thinking that this is a time to um, communicate with your superiors or authorities then this particular month will be a very good time it will be good not only with Uh, with respect to your projects or whatever work you do only one thing take care regarding your subordinates if you have any subordinates or follow the proper service with respect to your superiors and authorities this transit of jupiter and sun will also be good with respect to your health because of this transit of sun i will say it's a very good transit with this respect and yes with respect to your home and marriage if you are thinking that some issues are going on or has been going on in the past then this is a good time to resolve those problems rather than thinking to take a independent stature yes you can take an independent stature because it is transiting in the 6th house but that is one part of the coin the other part of the coin is that you can solve the problems because you will get that energy and definitely it is good for your lifestyle your healthy lifestyle the libra ascendant people this transit is happening in the 5th house in the sign of aquarius and it's a wonderful transit i will say jupiter is your third lord jupiter is also your sixth lord but the mool trikona sign of jupiter for the libra ascendant people is sagittarius which is the third lord third house sun is your 11th lord third lord and 11th lord is actually transiting through the 5th house of creativity and intelligence so your creativity any kind of creative work you do 
anything which comprises of your own talent will help you out during this time you can also have gains through your creativity through your knowledge through your intelligence chances are there that you can transform your hobbies along with your creativity into something which can give you mass fame people will know regarding what you comprises of anything which is god gifted talent you can have multiple gains through that because jupiter and sun will be directly looking into your 11th house of gains it will be also good for your progeny and children so i will say work upon your hobbies work upon your talents your intelligence and creativity since jupiter is also your 6th lord transiting through the 5th house along with 11th lord sun in the 5th house yes take care regarding your health also i will say and any matter regarding your education intelligence may also come in front of you which needs to take some proper attention because that is the reason sun is transiting through the 5th house it will throw light on those things and you have to work upon that trust me when you work upon that you are going to get good results because after all sun and jupiter will look into leo the sign of leo 7th house away from aquarius which is the house of gains correct so whatever good things you do for the 5th house perspective which is transiting through the 5th house the 11th house just opposite to it such kind of gains can come in front of you it can lead to multiple gains wealth name fame reputation everything correct when we talk about the scorpio ascendant people then the sun is transiting through your 4th house along with jupiter so any matter regarding your home regarding your security happiness peace of mind will be resolved this transit of jupiter and sun through your 4th house will not only resolve any matter regarding to your home your homeland but also provide you the proper means to establish peace of mind security at your home place you can take a very authoritative position at your home resolve any matter regarding your home your domestic happiness your peace of mind wherever you live in i will also say that since sun is transiting through your fourth house along with jupiter i will say it's a very good time to take care regarding your parents since sun is your 10th lord transiting through the fourth house take care regarding your parents i will say this is a very good time since fourth house is also the house of mother and sometimes we also take 10th house as the father we normally take 9th house as father but 10th house can also be associated with father so i will say more you take care regarding your parents more good blessings will follow you fortune prosperity will follow you it's a very good transit for your education also anything which you want to learn fourth house is also the house of education and intelligence anything which you want to learn anything which you want to study it's a very good time you will have a personal space during this one particular month where you will feel that yes i can set up a personal space for myself and i can do which were things which i like because looking into the fact for the scorpio ascendant people jupiter is your fifth lord of creativity transiting through the fourth house of happiness peace of mind so wonderful time i will say this jupiter and sun will also look into your 10th house of profession and career so yes with respect to your career and profession some good things are expected some good opportunities can 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 come during this time so suppose if you are thinking that suppose that i am getting a th- opportunity should i take it or not trust me if you are getting it now this is definitely going to be a good one now it will depend upon your dasha and everything else but if you are getting an opportunity now then grab the opportunity because of this transit of sun and jupiter in the 4th house looking into the 10th house of profession it's a very welcome transit for you for the sagittarius ascendant people this transit is happening in your 3rd house normally the transit of sun through the 3rd house is considered very good this third house transit of sun normally 
indicates all round success whatever efforts you do during this time it leads to success and now it has got conjunct with jupiter the wisdom so anything which you do during this time can give you not only intelligence and wisdom you will also improve your wisdom and intelligence through your work through your effort it is like that i do something and i learn out of it more i work upon it more i learn learn new things this is this kind of transit this will also give you a very good position status among your neighborhood among any kind of people with whom you meet or with whom you have daily contact now it can be your neighborhood it can be your friends your siblings or any one of daily contact so it will not only improve your social communications your speech your communication but also your efforts and any type of actions you take will be improved will lead to success so i will say that it's a very good transit looking into the fact that sun is your for the sagittarius ascendant people sun is your ninth lord ninth lord along with lagna lord jupiter transiting through the third house wonderful transit luck fortune prosperity health wealth everything can be expected during this time travels can be seen travels of any genre it can be short travels long travels chances are there that you may feel that yes i can explore the life this kind of feelings may come in front of you you can take up any hobbies during this time good transit i will say for the sagittarius ascendant people for the capricorn ascendant people sun and jupiter will be transiting through the sign of aquarius in your second house and any matter regarding your family your family member will be taken very nicely the problems will be resolved regarding your family anything which you might have thought that when will this problem resolve with respect to my family or any family issues this is the time when it may get resolved yes sun is your eighth lord now wherever that eighth lord transits some ups and downs are expected so yes uh, any matter regarding your wealth has to be taken care very nicely during this time unexpected expenditures has to be stopped because sun is your eighth lord otherwise i will say since it is transiting along with jupiter in the second house it will give you a very strong moral character because of this influence of jupiter it will also give you a very strong personality with respect to ethics and dharma you will respect your values it you will respect your family tradition okay so that will give you good results and regarding wealth as i said make sure that you are not doing any unexpected expenditures now why i say it right like like that because this is a very strong conjunction because because of this sun and jupiter so sometimes what happens out of our ego we say something we feel that since it is transiting through the house of values second house and speech out of our ego we say something or we uh feel that yes i need this i need that because we value it sometimes so i will say control it have a uh, proper control over it because eighth house is the house of suddenness and sun is the eighth lord so you have to take care regarding that otherwise it's a very good time to resolve any kind of matters regarding your family correct for the aquarius ascendant people this transit will be happening in your first house itself so it is giving you a very independent confident and strong personality a very strong authoritative character this can be expected during this transit yes sun is your seventh lord transiting through the first house so yes any matter regarding your marriage marital issues or problems you will have a independent decision regarding any matter towards your marriage or relationships you will feel that yes i will solve it or i will resolve it personality it may also happen that any matter regarding your marriage will influence you directly 
it may happen the other people's may not get impacted more but you will definitely because of this relationship or partnership or anything related to spouse marriage because seventh lot sun will be transiting through the first house along with jupiter for the aquarius ascendant people so i will say that have a proper wisdom regarding when you are solving the problems or when you are dealing with your spouse or your partners make sure that you are taking proper decisions because sun is a very independent kind of planet it may also make you feel that you may take more care of yourself rather than your married life it may also make you feel like that but since it is your seventh lord so every time the things will come in front of you that it will expect that those kind of problem solvings will be done by yourself itself okay so you have to take care regarding the uh, those things otherwise this transit is going to give you a very confident and very authoritative status during this particular time yes it is transiting along with your second lord jupiter for the aquarius ascendant people so it is also giving you a very good chance to improve your wealth because jupiter is your second lord transiting through the first house so it is creating a dhan yoga and sun is giving that proper confidence and authority you have to use that particular transit in this way correct and yes take care regarding your spouse take care regarding anything matter to relationship and partnership your marriage life correct make sure that for the pisces ascendant people jupiter and sun will be transiting through the 12th house yes i will say it's a very spiritual transit because of this transit of jupiter and sun getting conjunct and as the day will go by this jupiter and sun will be in very close conjunct to each other conjunction to each other so yes it is creating a very spiritual yoga i will say that since it is transiting through the 12th house at times you may feel that whatever work you do or anything related to your work your karma your career your profession you may feel that i am not getting that much amount of name fame during this transit because 12th house is the house of loss it is transiting through the lagna lord with the lagna lord jupiter in the 12th house so you have to take care regarding your health also because sun is the planet of vitality at times you may also feel that i am not getting interest in anything you may feel like that so when you feel like that it is the high time when you have to think in the other way that if the normal things does not give you interest so try the spiritual way of life try something which is not in the realm of this particular world something which is of other dimensions spiritual well being will be very good during this time yoga meditation healthy practices because since it is the 12th house of loss so health care should be the first priority so more you take care regarding your health more better results can be expected definitely more better results can be expected so suppose there is a chance that you may feel that i can go to some far away place get connected with some spiritual communities get connected with my guru because 12th house is fourth from the 9th house 12th house is basically the ashram the place where guru lives the place where monks lives it is transiting with jupiter so this is the good part that means you can get connected with someone who is a guide someone who is a philosopher someone who is a spiritual guide correct so maybe you may meet someone who is very learned who is very wise and you may learn something some spiritual learnings by the virtue of this transit so take the positives and work upon it work upon your health for the betterment of more healthier practices correct so that's all what this transit of jupiter and sun will bring for every one of us if you have liked this video press the like button you are welcome i always welcome your comments in the comment box so don't forget to comment regarding how you like this video and 
every time i make a new video so that you can get it on time tap onto the notification bell icon subscribe to my channel and anytime any consultation if you want from me check the links in the description section you can directly email me through the email id you will get it in the description section so that's it for today so till then when i come back i will be coming back with a, another new video so thanking you bye bye